Hello, in this video we're going to do a public goods graphical problem. So we have a public good here, Q, measured on the x-axis, and got dollars here measured on the vertical axis. We have two people, Sam and Pam, and here is Sam's demand for the public good and Pam's demand. To get the market demand or the social marginal benefit curve, we're going to just vertically add each consumer's demand curve. And we'll do that over here. So this black line is the market demand for the public good or the social marginal benefit curve. Just adding up the demand or marginal benefit for each consumer of the public good. And I have a table here to help us with these calculations. So the easiest thing to do is start with a quantity of zero. At a quantity of zero, the vertical intercept for Sam is six dollars, the vertical intercept for Pam is twelve dollars. So adding those two up, twelve plus six, we get a point on the market demand for the public good, eighteen dollars. That's my calculation right here. At one unit of output, Sam values that at five dollars. Pam values one unit of the public good at ten dollars. So the point on the social marginal benefit curve is just 10 plus 5 or $15. And you can do that for each unit of output. And, and at the very end here, when quantity is 6 of the public good, Pam values that 6 unit at 0, Sam at 0. So 0 will then be the point on the social marginal benefit curve, 0 plus 0. We have our demand for the public good. Uh, next thing we can do is find the efficient provision of the public good. Let's assume that the marginal cost of providing this public good is $9. So a horizontal line at $9 represents the marginal cost or social marginal cost. The efficient provision occurs where the social marginal benefit equals the social marginal cost. So at this intersection, we're going to go down to the quantity axis and we get a quantity of 3. So that is the ideal level, the efficient level of the public good. Notice at uh, three units of output here, Pam is willing to pay $6 for the third unit. So finding three, moving up to Pam's demand. At most, she's willing to pay $6 for it. While Sam is willing to pay at most $3 for the third unit. And if we were to add six plus three, that would equal the marginal cost. You could refer to this $6 and $3 as the Lindell prices as well. All right, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.